Hello, this is Anna Galletly, and we are going to be talking about the abdominal vessels now uh, as part of Unit 5. All right, so a reminder again, please look at your terms list. The images that you have in the practice atlas or in your textbooks, they have more things labeled than what we're actually going to memorize um, for this particular course. So I'll only be testing you on the things that are on our terms list, okay? So continuing on with our abdominal vessels. So in the last unit, we were looking at the blood vessels of the upper body. So we're really just kind of continuing on with that pathway with our arteries. So here you see that descending aorta. And then once you transition, into the abdominal cavity, we can start calling it the abdominal aorta. You don't have to combine those terms, it's a little bit more specific if you do, um, but, it, but it's optional. Okay, so the very first thing I want you to notice is this trunk right here. This is your celiac trunk. It's got three branches, which um, we're gonna look at in a little bit. Um, so you can see them coming off one, two, three. But what you should notice is that it's pretty much the first anterior vessel that's going to split off of the aorta uh, after you go inferior to the diaphragm. You can also see the suprarenal arteries which are going to the suprarenal gland which most of the time we just call the adrenal gland. Okay now so this was one the next anterior vessel is the superior mesenteric artery and remember we're always going to put the word artery at the end of these words unless we don't need to like with celiac trunk you don't have to but if if you see it written with artery or vein in my stuff please use artery or vein in your stuff okay so the mesenteric so look at that name mesenteric mesentery this is going to the mesentery so the intestines of your abdominal cavity okay then the third anterior um, artery um, is going to be the inferior mesenteric artery okay so those are the three that are on the anterior aspect the ones that are on the lateral sides of the aorta so you've got the suprarenal here and here we've also got the renal artery here and here and we've got the two gonadal arteries if you know you're dealing with a male you can call it just testicular artery and if you know you're dealing with a female you can tell it, call it an ovarian artery but otherwise we're just going to call it the gonadal arteries all right all the other branches we don't care about okay so the aorta right here is then going to split okay and you've got your let me erase that because it's kind of messy let's just erase all of that because it's messy You've got your um, common iliac. Now, this word common is important. You have to include it because we have three iliac arteries. You have to put the prefix on the name or I don't know that you know what you're talking about. So right here is the common iliac artery. Now that splits into the internal iliac artery and the external iliac artery. Okay, so you've got to get all the parts of the name in there. The internal is going to stay internal going into the pelvic cavity and the perineum region. The external is destined to go through the inguinal canal where it will then change its name to the femoral artery. Okay, So the external iliac is leaving the pelvic cavity and going into the leg. Okay, All right, let's go on to the next slide. All right, so now we want to look at um, the um, that celiac trunk a little bit more closely. So here is the trunk right there, okay? Then coming off of it, you've got three major branches, okay? We have um, 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 um. all right, find your spleen. Right here is the spleen, okay? We have the splenic artery coming right there, going off to the spleen. We have the common hepatic going over to the liver. So this is the common hepatic and this is the splenic, okay? Again, despite the fact that I'm using blue ink, this is still all arteries, okay? Then we have our left gastric. 
So this is the left gastric, which is not labeled well in this picture. So this is the left gastric artery. And so that gives rise to these branches. So gastric is talking about the stomach. Splenic is talking about the spleen. Hepatic is talking about the liver. Um, so hepatic means liver. Now you've got the word common. Please include it as part of the name because we have other types of hepatic arteries that we do not want to get it confused with like the left hepatic and the right hepatic and so forth, okay? Now you may be wondering, well, where's the right gastric? Well, the right gastric comes off right here and it kind of forms an anastomosis over here with the left. Don't worry about it, I'm not gonna test you on that. Just know that the three branches of the celiac trunk are the left gastric, the common hepatic, and where's the label for the splenic? And the splenic arteries, okay? So that was the celiac trunk right there, okay? Now, remember you've got the superior mesenteric artery right there, and you really, um, you can kind of see it coming out right here and kind of snaking down, and then it's gonna give little branches that are gonna go off and go out throughout all of the um, 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 mesentery, okay? And of course, you can still see your aorta right there, and right there is your inferior vena cava. So remember, directionality is that way for the arteries and that way for the veins. All right, moving on. All right, so this is probably a really confusing slide for you, but this helps me try to visualize what I'm dealing with with my abdominal veins when I draw it, draw it out stylized, okay? Because I've got the major branches with my external iliac, my internal iliac, and then them going into the common. So this is external, this is internal, and this is common, okay? I wonder if I can change that to yellow. Common, internal, external. And then this is my aorta, okay? Now going into the aorta, look at the way these lines work. I have my right gonadal vein going in. So I'm doing, notice the directionality as well that I'm doing on the blood flow. This is not the aorta. Did I just say that before? Oh my God. This is the inferior vena cava, okay? So, and then I've got my renal vein coming in here, going into the inferior vena cava. And then I've got four hepatic veins going into the inferior vena cava, okay? I'm gonna erase this mess so that you can see it a little bit better. Okay, now I'm gonna look at my hepatic portal system. I have my splenic vein here, my superior mesenteric vein there. And then look at the blue, so you see the blue color right here? That goes with this vessel right here. So I have one, uh, change color, one, two, three vessels all going up into my hepatic portal vein, which is then gonna go to the liver. You need to memorize that. Now you're like, whoa, what's going on with some of this other stuff? Well, the suprarenal vein is gonna drain into the renal vein and the left gonadal vein is gonna drain into the renal vein, which is then gonna drain into the inferior vena cava. But confusingly, the right gonadal vein drains directly into the vena cava, completely bypassing that renal vein. So this is some areas where we have asymmetry because of the way the liver is a single large organ. So you just gotta memorize it, um, the fact that it's not symmetrical. All right, next slide. So I, I recommend drawing it out multiple times and, and labeling it. All right, so now that we've talked about that, let's actually look at what we're seeing, okay? So this is my spleen right there. So that's a really easy, fast thing to find. So I've got my splenic vein going this way, okay? And then I have my inferior mesenteric vein draining into the splenic vein. And I've got my superior mesenteric vein coming up here, so let's change the colors so that we can see this better. Okay, so splenic, inferior mesenteric, over here is my superior mesenteric. All three of these merge into the hepatic portal vein, which goes into the liver, okay? And then draining the liver, you will have your 
hepatic veins which go directly into the inferior vena cava. Memorize that. Also memorize that the inferior mesenteric is draining the colon and the superior is draining the small intestines. Okay? All right, next slide. All right, what I like about this picture is the way they have highlighted and circled the structures so that you can see easily, easily the inferior mesenteric vein and the splenic merging, and then the splenic and the superior mesenteric merging, and then going into the hepatic portal vein, okay? All right, so those are the basic structures of the abdominal vessels. So we're going to stop it there, and that's the end of Unit 5. And then the next unit will um, be looking at the lower body vessels.